I'm going to tell you a little story about part of the lake. Known as Sally's Gut. Yeah, you really haven't been out on a lake unless you've taken a pass through Sally's Gut. Just one of those things you got to do. In the stories of how Sally's Gut got its name, oh, they're myriad. Everybody's got their own version, probably. Truth be told, I probably can't get anywhere near it because I think I have to go down private roads, but... Maybe I'll get a ride on a boat this summer and I can... We can go through the gut and I can film another video. But anyways, yeah, some of the stories, oh lord. As I said, they're myriad most popular ones about last name Sally he was a sturdy lass and could work as hard as any man and what not had an overprotective dad and he wouldn't let her go out with just one suitor she had to have six of them one day she was setting out with her six suitors and she decided to start to run and then they started to chase her and one of them fell and hurt his leg and well they didn't want to leave him there so they left another one with him and they kept running and another one ran into a tree and hurt himself and oh they couldn't let him off by himself so left another one with him and she took off to running again and Outran the other two all the way to what's now known as Sally's Gut, and she just dove right in and swam across it. And one guy saw the whole thing, the other guy was too slow, he didn't see it, but he comes running up, and the first one saying, What what guts that took? The guy says, What guts? Whose guts? He says, Sally's guts. So oh, Sally's guts. Another one was, she was a brave lass and she could outdo any lad in any thing diving off rocks and whatnot. And one day she cut it too close and opened herself up and sure enough there were Sally's guts. I don't like that one, but whatever. My favorite one has to do with a lady named Sally who enjoyed her adult beverages and she'd go over to the Weirs every night by boat and because again it's one of those things if you go by car it's about a 15 mile journey if you go by boat it's about a mile <laughs> but yeah she'd go over and have herself a grand old time get liquored up come on back and make high speed passes through the what's now known as Sally's Guts and everybody says God knowing how drunk she is that takes guts so Sally's Gut that's my favorite but truth be told not nearly as exciting as that you can make up any story you want but if you actually look up the definition to gut, way down about the fourth or fifth version, a gut is simply a narrow passageway. And this is definitely a narrow passageway, and it just happens to be named after some chick named Sally. So, make up your own story. There's a ton of them out there. Well, the horse looks a little mangy. Get my bearings as to where I am.
Sally's gut, if I'm correct, is actually straight across that way. Across the little bit of water that you can see here. I haven't got the sleepers out here yet. Yeah, that was shit. Wow, look how full the lake is. Dogs are just underwater. If I was smart enough to stop, I could point it all out to you. I think, oh, there might be a place up here where we can see across. Yeah, the entrance to the gut is right over there. You see the little island with a single house on it. It's just past that. Can't really see it here, but we're going to try to make our way over there. But again, it might be one of them uh, private drives. gun stock in the background. Spindle Point Lighthouse is right out through there. And straight past that is the Weirs. We'll give our luck to Stone Dam Island Road because Stone Dam Island happens to be what's on the other side of the gut from Meredith Neck. So one would think, if logic has anything to do with it, that we'd be getting somewhere near Sally's gut. But logic doesn't always work.